So I, I think you're right. In, in the United States today, people understand something is, is not right mm -hmm. because of the mass shootings that we have. The um, opioid addicts. The, the, the addiction to opiates. Something, something is wrong where uh, I, I know the, the generation of college students in America today mm -hmm. have the highest levels of anxiety and depression and suicide than, than previous generations. Mm -hmm. There's something with the American mindset that is not balanced, mm -hmm. but, but if, you're, if you're beginning the path of Buddhism, what do you do? Um, mm -hmm. you know, how, how do you live your life, or how would the Buddha have said to live your life, and how do you incorporate that within America today? Mm -hmm. Discipline, the key, the word is self-discipline. This is what we all have been doing. That since we are born, we were taught to have the, to develop our self-discipline. Time for your uh, shower, time for your breakfast, time for your dinner, time for my exercise. Mm -hmm. All this, discipline. It's all about discipline. Military, martial arts, sports, all about disciplining the mind. Mm -hmm. That's all. But all the discipline that we have been doing, the mind discipline for the body, to have a clean, strong, healthy body. Right. In, in America, uh, or, or the university where I work at, at the University of Richmond, so many students will go and work out. Yes. You know, they'll lift weights. Absolutely. You, you want your body to look good. To look good. You know, because if you look good, you feel good, then everything's great. Yes. Um, so we, we, do, we do discipline a lot of, of things with our bodies. We're, we're obsessed with our bodies and, mm -hmm. our, and our image mm -hmm. in America. But. We have, you have a discipline, the mind has a discipline for itself, right? Mm. We never, we never done anything for our mind, to discipline our mind. Mm. Meditation is the only way to discipline our mind. So daily, if you spend 10 or 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes per day to sit down, discipline the mind for itself, feed the mind for itself, Mm -hmm. clean, it, clean it, exercise it, give vitamin to it. In 15 minutes, this is all you can do for your mind. Right? Let go, detach everything in your mind so that your mind is, can start fresh again. Yeah, I, I like that idea because in, in America, we're, we're addicted to our cell phones, to exactly. our computers. Um, something is wrong if we're not on social media. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong if we're not checking our email. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong if we're not busy. Mm -hmm. Because in America, we associate busyness with success. Yes. And if you, if you, are, if you are sitting down just observing your breath, mm -hmm. people might think that you're wasting time. Mm -hmm. And so I think the challenge is how do you how do you begin to work in a Buddhist path when that path is not quite the same as this path of, of success and time and money in America today? Mm -hmm. So it must begin from head to bottom. Right? The, the leader, the teacher, the professor, they must create the right understanding. Mm. It goes to the Four Noble Truths of the Buddha which is the, the fourth noble truth, the truth, the eight noble path. Begin with the right understanding. If you have the right understanding, like yourself, yourself for example, if you have the right understanding that meditation is useful in our daily life, mm -hmm. right, in order to cope with the, with the stress, depression. So you can be the model, the inspiration, for others to follow, for your students to follow. Mm. With the right understanding, then you will have the right thinking. With the right thinking, you will have the right speech, you will speak right. When you speak right, you will do right. When you do right, you will have right living. Then you put the right effort in your daily life to meditate, to take care of our mind. Then you have right concentration, then you have right 
mindfulness. So the Buddha has already described the framework in our daily life as a way of life to take care of our mind mm. in order to have a good mental health. Mm. A healthy life is a healthy mind and body. A healthy mind gives a, he a healthy mental. That's so all to take care of our mental health. Then the meditation is the only way. We begin with the right understanding, the eight noble path. Then the first noble truth, the truth about suffering. The, when the Buddha described, and the second noble truth, the cause to our suffering, that begins with our ignorant mind, our hatred, and the root cause of our suffering is our ignorant mind. Mm. Or begin with our greed, our hatred, and the root cause is our ignorant mind. The word ignorant means ignoring the truth. The truth is about the law of cause and effect the law of action-reaction, the scientific law. What we have been doing is either ignoring the truth, suppressing the truth, or rejecting the truth. Because the truth is meditation, useful. But since it is boring, we are ignoring it, or we are rejecting it. <laughs> but if we do, if, if we understand yeah. that taking care of our mind, there will be good consequences. We have a good mental health. Yeah, I, I, I suppose I've experimented with meditation on and off now for, well, wow, for maybe almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. But I've only had a, a consistent daily practice for the past three years or so. Mm -hmm. um, not too long after when I, when I first met you here in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I think the, the way I look at meditation is it, it, number one, definitely does provide more insight to my thought process, to my emotions, to my mm -hmm. heart. And that can usually give me a recipe or template for looking at life in, in a, in a easier way. Mm. Um, but, but it can, it can be hard just sitting like this, mm -hmm. you know, after 20 or 25 minutes. <laughs> you know, um, all of my addictions come up. I, I want to check my email. Mm. I, I want to, you know, go do this thing or that thing. Mm. Um, and I, I guess what I mean to say is Buddhism is a good path, but it, it takes work. You know, like, mm -hmm. like lifting, lifting weights in a gym for your body. Meditation, I think, is kind of like weightlifting for your, your mind and, and heart and, and, and understanding what that is, but it, ta it takes work. Absolutely. Look at our life to get a degree. Mm. Right. It, takes, uh, it takes a lot of work and it costs a lot of money. Mm. Right. Until you get a bachelor, master, PhD degree, how many years we work hard, we study hard to get those degree. To buy a house, to, get a, to, to buy a car, mm. you need to work hard. To have a healthy body, all the workouts, right? mm. all the exercise, you must work hard. All the sweat, but meditation, you don't have to sweat. <laughs> but you will have a good mental, a good mind, a good, a, a good mental health. Yeah. Right? But you don't have to sweat out. And 15 minutes workout, you spend one hour at least mm. to work out to have a good look body with all the muscular and healthy body mm -hmm. right? even yoga to uh, for the healthy body mm -hmm. but 15 minutes i had to sit down and just uh, let go or reset your mind yeah uh, so the the hardest part in meditation is to let go mm. the attachment of the mind mm. because working out is a lot more fun and our mind attached to it, yeah. right? To get busy, right? In our daily life, it's fun. Why? Because you will earn money with them. I appreciate this this idea of looking at meditation like how you might get a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, mm -hmm. or you might save up money to buy a house and pay a mortgage. All of these things take time mm -hmm. and hard work. And hard work. Yep. And, and I, I, I like that attitude of looking at meditation like that. Mm. And so, you, you know, in America, we, we want instant success. Mm -hmm. We want 
instant results. And I think people are, are, are assuming that unless you get instant results, mm -hmm. something's wrong. <laughs> but, but if we look at meditation as, you know, if you practice, you know, a little bit every day after so many months or so many years, mm -hmm. you will graduate to, you know, maybe a, a better level of, of mental concentration mm -hmm. or a better level of self-awareness. Mm -hmm. um, but, but it's not an instant quick fix. Yep. It is, it is a, a part of your life that, that, that is little by little a way towards self-improvement, but not not instant results. Mm. The que my question is, is there any instant bachelor degree or well, you, PhD? You get some online. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. what about the quality? Right. 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 So, as Buddhism is an education, mm -hmm. it takes time to get to earn bachelor degree, master degree, PhD. It takes time. How many, how many years we spend to gain, to gain this degree, to earn the degree, to earn the wisdom, to gain the wisdom, that mm. are the, the true purpose of meditation right? mm. as a way of life, as an education, the, 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 the title will be wisdom. Right? So it takes time also. Every day to earn bachelor degree, five, five days per week, right? Mm -hmm. We go to school. As a, how many years we spend? Four years. Four years. Yeah. But not to count high school, elementary school. All this count toward bachelor degree. Mm. So at least 10, 15 years we spend to earn bachelor degree at least. Another two years, another four PhD. Meditation is the same. To have an education, to have a good mental health. Right. We have to do it mm -hmm. every day. Can you, Ajahn Hartanto, yes. share more about your experiences with meditation? Mm -hmm. um, how did you begin? And um, what were some of your obstacles that mm -hmm. you first encountered with meditation? And how did you overcome those obstacles? So when I... I started meditation when I became monk uh, 21 years ago. Mm. After I left my businesses, I came to Thailand to become monk and uh, I was in the jungle on an empty island. I had no one to talk, I had nothing to do. I just sit down, close my eyes and then start observing my breath and just start to meditate. Mm. And, uh, every day, since I had no one to, uh, uh, to talk to, just uh, meditating. 10 minutes, all the pain started in my body since I never meditated before. Mm -hmm. So in 10 minutes, uh, all my body are in pain, were, were, was in pain already. And as I opened my eyes, I was surrounded by snakes. So this combination, fear and pain, that is my hardest obstacle. Mm -hmm. but, but since I couldn't move, I dare not to move. I just keep on closing my eyes. I just started to uh, try to, to uh, observe the pain. And uh, uh, actually at the beginning, I try to ignore the pain. It won't, it won't go. So I just shed tears, cried due mm. to my pain and my fear. So uh, when I had a chance, then I moved. Then I, 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 I was able to uh, stay away from the snakes. Mm. So every day, I have to move and I have to suffer from all the pain. Suffering, like it goes back to the it goes back to Buddhism, the the, uh, the Buddha teaching the Four Noble Truth. Suffering, the cause to my suffering, right? my greed, my hatred, and my ignorant mind. So my mind was ignorant enough, it was very ignorant at that time, mm. that create all my suffering. I, my greed, or oh, I, I, I don't want this, I, what am I doing in this uh, jungle? I had a nice life, right? and uh, my hatred, I hated my mother who asked me to become monk. I hated more and more, so create my anger. Mm. Right? So uh, all these are having the root cause of my ignorant mind. 
And as I meditated every day, and uh, I, I try uh, my mind uh, uh, try to fight, and I try to fulfill my mother's wish to keep on medit uh, to keep uh, stay as a monkhood for two years. Mm. Then, then I, I fought, uh, my mind fought all those suffering, and every day as uh, I, I meditate, that meditation helped me to get better and better, to understand better and better. So finally, I realized that snake didn't make me suffer. Jungle didn't cause my suffering. It is my own mind that created all the suffering. Mm. So having understood that, so then my fear subsided and my pain also I was uh, able to understood and this didn't disturb my mind. Mm. So I keep on meditating and I was able to meditate all day and night and keep on researching. And so for you, meditation has been a process of researching your mind, sitting literally with emotions, even negative heart emotions. Yes. Trying to understand the nature and the origins and the roots of those emotions. Yes, the root of all this suffering. That's so all. If, if we understand the teaching, if we understand the, the law, Mm. I underline understanding, not knowing, because knowing is everybody can know. Mm. But if we don't practice, if we don't experience it, if we don't see with our own mind, we never understood it. You know, that, that reminds me of, of something I, I heard about in Buddhism or, or maybe other teachings. And it has something to do with uh, the metaphor of, of pointing to the moon. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a path toward this destination, mm -hmm. but it's important to, to not get too distracted. Mm -hmm. You ultimately need to find your own path. Mm -hmm. And that for Buddhism, as I understand it, means you need to investigate yourself. Yes. And so you can describe it, or I can describe it, yeah. or other videos can describe it as much as they want. Mm -hmm. But this part of practicing and understanding your meditation is something you have to personally experience for yourself. Yes. So that's why with this education, uh, with this uh, Buddhism, this is uh, is an education that you cannot buy mm. and no one can give you. Mm. But not like uh, uh, if you go to earn a bachelor degree, uh, you pay the tuition, you can buy knowledge. But to gain the wisdom. Only you yourself. That's when the Buddha said, you are your own refuge. Only you can help yourself. Mm. Right. So you must sit down, insert, or, uh, uh, insert a new way of life in your busy days, uh, 15 minutes per day, just inserting this, this, this wrong. It won't hurt you, it won't cost you. But if we do this, insert in our daily life, taking care of our mind, disciplining the mind for itself, mm -hmm. right? searching for yourself, keep researching why, or what caused your suffering, why I do what I do, I speak what I speak, what is the cause? Right? So you will find the answer, you will have a good consequences. Mm -hmm. So in today's society where stress, anxiety, depression, all over, even on, we, if we sit down on the traffic jam, we already stress. Yes. But if we sit down every day, the ripple effects, the chain of action reaction, the chain of cause and effect of that stress mm. give the consequences to our behavior. Right? So as we stress, we're not depressed, but our behavior becoming high temper, easily get angry. Mm -hmm. Uh, the consequences also to our friends, to our families. Mm. The ripple effects of a stress. Unable, the mind unable to let it go, to manage it wisely. You can, what, what we all do, take a vacation with all your stress. Temporary way, you can manage that stress. But once you are back to work, in your daily life, you meet stress again, you meet a uh, traffic jam again you will stress again. What I appreciate with your sharing about stress and its ripple effects, if I, if I understand you correctly, Ajahn Hartanto, mm -hmm. it sounds that through more meditation, 
through more reflective inquiry, mm -hmm. we can understand the nature of our mind and also the consequences of our mind. Mm -hmm. And so if we're sitting stressfully in a car in traffic and that gives rise to negative thoughts and then when I when I'm driving I, I cut somebody off or mm -hmm. I I do something else, that can then create a, a negative chain of causes and effects. Yes. That if I if I'm self aware mm -hmm. I can understand what that would mean and I can therefore adjust or modify my behavior and that can be a, a a real source of, of, of understanding just for myself in a small moment Yes. that could maybe influence my whole environment. Exactly. The consequences also to your environment. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the, uh, the key is to how to manage that stress, how to let go the stress, right? the attachment of the mind, so how to detach uh, this is the, the law, the second law of nature that you must research and understand in your meditation. The law of gravity or the law of impermanence. Whatever comes up must comes down. Whatever rise must fall. Whatever comes must go. Including our emotion, including our stress. So if we have stress during traffic jam, if our mind can see and understand the law. When the stress comes up, mm. if our mind not attached to it, the stress will come down by nature, by itself. Mm. Since we don't understand the law, so when, there is a, when the stress arises, our mind attached to it. The stronger the attachment, the stronger the stress becomes anxiety. But anxiety is just a strong attachment of the mind. You know, uh, Ajahn Hartanto, yes. um, back to this example about driving and stress, mm. I know th there are many people, not only in America, but around the world, around who, the world. if they're driving and they're angry, they want to express that anger. Mm. They want to hurt somebody because mm -hmm. <laughs> it can feel good to cut somebody off and and show them they were wrong. Yeah. And and I think I think one criticism of Buddhism is you're you're not being realistic. Mm -hmm. you're, you're denying your full passions. Mm -hmm. You're denying your full emotions. Mm -hmm. And and for that reason, people may not be interested in, in just silent meditation because it's it's boring and it's not it's not realistic for the human condition. Mm -hmm. How how would you respond to that criticism? Mm -hmm. So there is a way or there is a choice always, right? How to express or how to show your emotion, mm. uh, not uh, not uh, not the negative way because Buddhism is not violence, right? The, the consequences of violence. So if you express your self or your ego uh, that you are uh, you can show and hurt others well the consequences if you ended up in jail what about the, to your family mm. uh, what about to your children to your friends uh, what if one uh, uh, get hurt mm. or become handicapped uh, last time i also like all other human beings, with all my stress, with all my emotion, I scolded everybody, I, I, I beat up others also. But now I realize that was stupid things to do. Mm. What if one of them, I got uh, uh, injured, sue me, or uh, they, uh, I, the, the police get involved, I end up in jail, I lost uh, my money, pay fine. So that is not wise. And so meditation, it gives you that, that reflective awareness that can maybe save you future stress. Exactly. Mm. Now also, since uh, I have resp more responsibility taking care of these young, young girls uh, from uh, orphan, broken home, from uh, trafficking, domestic abuse. So the consequences now, if I still have that emotion, if I ended up in jail, what about to these children, to these mm. girls? Mm. Uh, they need help. 
So it is not wise if I follow my emotion, mm. but it is wise if I follow my wisdom. Mm. So don't do act based on our emotion, but based on our wisdom. Our good emotion to our loved ones, express to our loved ones. Mm. Right, because because meditation not to get rid of our emotion. If we have a good emotion, express the ex express it to our loved ones. Mm. If we have a negative emotion, let it go. We don't need to show our ego ourselves that oh, I'm better than you. I'm stronger than you. I can beat you up. Mm. What if you sue me, or what if you you're not happy and you tell your friends? Your friends will come and shoot me. But the consequences of an action that I want to show my ego. Mm. In today's society where gun everywhere, right, where emotion against emotion, anger against anger, ended up in hurt, in suffering. Mm. Right. It is something that not common. Why? Because we never been taught, we hardly heard this kind of teaching. But it is better we start doing or inserting like uh, the way of life in our day in our daily life insert this way of life mm -hmm. so that if there is a time for us to compete and show our ego go ahead in our competition in sports mm -hmm. uh, but not in the violence way to hurt others to make other people suffer